the worst and longest lie you've ever kept up with okay boom me and my boyfriend at the time is breaking up we live together um i was moving out um i go to the house to get the rest of my things at like two o'clock in the morning when i get off of work he's on the phone with a girl uh in my mind we weren't broken up to him we were broken up so make a long story short i put my hands on him um he then restrained me by the neck and um we got the tussling i fell we both fell together but he fell on top of me and he stayed at the project so my head hit that hard ass towel um i passed out and when i woke up i pretended like i lost my memory he didn't show no emotion the whole time until i blacked his eye and then when i woke up from passing out he was crying and kissing all over me and i'm like all i wanted was a little reaction and now you're giving me a reaction so i'm gonna drag this my actions are not justifiable but they're funny as hell today so a dude's waking me up and all this other stuff and i'm just like who are you i don't know who you are mind you my cousin is outside in my car waiting for me to come outside but she doesn't know what's going on and there's no way that i could tell her he brings his little brother in the room asks me if i know who he is i pretended like i did not know who the brother was i told him that they were keeping me hostage in the house and they wouldn't let me go outside so they eventually let me go outside and i started running in the middle of the road this is crazy so now my cousin's freaking out like what the hell is going on like she went in there okay now she come out here she's running in the street talking about this is not her car yeah i told her i didn't remember having the car i was supposed to be with my dad and my brother whole time I'm grown haven't seen my dad and my brother in about two three years my cousin starts boohoo crying, freaking out, so she calls my dad. My dad starts cussing her out and saying, take her to the hospital. So we go to the hospital. Oh. We go to the hospital, they put a neck brace on me, and they say, you know, they had to put a neck brace on because a nerve in my neck could be pinched, and if it was, then I could possibly be paralyzed. They should have shut up. <laughs> so they run a CAT scan on me, everything checks out, they about to let me out the hospital or whatever, but they never take this neck brace off of me. I goes home with the neck brace on. I still ain't tell my cousin that I faked all of it. Still ain't call my dad, tell him I faked all of it. Just of course, ain't tell my ex that I faked all of it. My ex reached out to me the next day and say, I don't care what my mom says. So I'm like, hold on, what should he say? He gonna tell me his mom said, won't well, nothing wrong with me. And I was just crazy. I really didn't lose my memory. I was crazy. So she's actually diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So I'm like, how's she gonna call me crazy? And you actually diagnosed with crazy. So now I'm gonna show you what crazy is. I go to Shorty house the next day with the neck brace on go in her room make her cry tell her you know your son put his hands on me and i had the hospital and they they told me that i could be paralyzed yada 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 so now i gotta wear a neck brace and drug it so now the, the story must go on so now i go back to work i wear the neck brace one of the little white shorties start laughing at me because i got a neck brace on so i threatened to beat her up i did not tell my ex any of this until a year ago this happened i want to say 2017 I really was insane. I don't, I don't know. She's crazy. Like, I'm speechless, bro. The biggest lie? So the partner. But I am. I'm single. <laughs> oh, so you weren't single. You were f***ing two dicks at the same time? <laughs> this is the truth. Single, you were f***ing two dicks at the same time. Hold on, hold on. That's how I shoot. That's how I got a put it. Hold on. What if I was just sucking one and not f***ing the other one? Oh, okay. It's still two no. I like having single friends because single friends come with single friend story. I lived through them because I married, right? My boy was talking to this young lady. He met her on Hinged. They were talking for probably close to a month, okay? And she was cool. He was telling me everything about her. They did. She put him onto real estate. She owned her own business. She was out here getting money. The things he was telling me about her, I was like, damn, she sound like wifey material. He wanted to, he don't really, he an investigative ass. They had this conversation where she was like, you're talking to other people, I'm talking to other people or whatever, and it's cool, we're dating, but I don't f two people at the same time, okay? So when she come over, the most she used to do, she used to give him head, but they wouldn't have sex. So he started like, you know, we started talking about it, and he was like, yo, you know, she said that she don't f two people at the same time, but she coming over and she giving me head all the time, so like, is the other person f***ing and I'm getting the head? Like, what's going on? So anyway, bro, she ended up going to, like, Miami. And she came back. And she texted him. And she was like, hey, you know, um, I think we should stop seeing each other because we're just not clicking. Now, mind you, before she went to Miami, everything was 100%. So we came to the conclusion that the dude she was actually stepped up and she made a choice. But in my mind, I'm like, bro, that still means that like she was over there having sex with this man, kissing him, and she was coming over and sucking him. So she might have did you grimy, but like she did him worse. Cause now he probably was just like, man, she my angel. 
you know, like I was the only one she was talking to, and I'm over here spanking them cheeks and kissing her and doing this, that, and the third. I probably he probably took her out to Miami and they had all this fun and whatever. And now she finally decide, all right, I'm gonna settle down with him. And that's not right. I don't. I mean, I don't. I personally don't think that is right. And I know you date and you date different people and you do this, that, and the third. But at the same time, bro, like. Don't come over and be over here kissing me, and you over here sucking the next man wood. I'm about to reveal the common lies women are hardwired to tell you and what they really mean. Number one, he's just a friend. She knows he wants her, but she's friends on him and only keeps him around and close to her for her benefit. Number two, I'm not crazy. Here's a fact. Only crazy people say this. <laughs> Number three, I really like you, but as a friend. It almost always means that she's trying to reject you politely. Mm. Number four, nothing's wrong. I'm fine. Literally almost never true. Mm -hmm. Number five, you're the best I've ever had. That's a she's lot. She's to stroke your ego to make sure that you stay confident in the bedroom. Number five, sorry I didn't see your text. She did. She just purposely ignored you. Number six, I'm not like all those other girls. If she says this, she's exactly like all those other girls. <laughs> Number seven, I'm not looking for a relationship. That means I'm not looking for a relationship with, with you. you. Number eight, I can never marry a man for money. For the right price, she can. A man can handle not living how they want to better than a woman can because men are builders and women are nurturers. Mm. Number nine, it's okay, I forgive you. Women don't forgive anything. <laughs> they just put it on the back burner temporarily and bring to it up. To use to bring it up later on. Like an argument. Oh my God. Number 10, I'm not jealous like other women. Most women are jealous like other women. Mm -hmm. But she wants you to think that she's different. Number 11, I hope you had a good time. She doesn't hope you had a good time because it wasn't with her. Mm. Number 12, I promise I won't get angry. That means if it's not as bad as what I'm thinking, then it's okay. But if it is what I'm thinking, then I'm furious. Number 13, my battery is dying. That means I seriously want to hang up in your face, but I'm giving you a warning first. Number 14, I've moved on. If she has to say she moved on, she, has she hasn't and it still bothers her. Number Facts. 15, your friend blank is handsome. That means I've already slept with blank mentally and you better treat me right. Otherwise, I'll turn my dreams into reality. reality. Number 16, I'll be ready in five minutes. Mm -hmm. That means she'll be ready in an hour. Number mm -hmm. 17, you deserve someone so much better than me. That means, yeah, I don't I'm not interested in you. Number I 18, want you. I won't ever change you. I love you just the way you That's are. That's a lie. That means you're like putty in my hands and watch as I slowly but steadily manipulate you into what I, I want, want you to be, be without you even noticing. I like Number her. Number 19, I don't believe in checking my man's phone. Every single woman has checked a man's phone before. Fellas, don't let these ladies lie to you. Number 20, I hate guys who play games. Girls love guys who play games. Number 21, sorry, wrong text. Do you know how hard it is to accidentally text someone? She didn't text you by accident. She just wanted to remind you that she still exists. Number 22, I'm on my period or I have a headache when you try to attempt sex. She doesn't want it, but she doesn't want to say it. So she blames it on this. Number 23, sorry, I'm just really busy from now until forever. Hint, she's not busy. She's just too busy for you. Number 24, it's not you, it's me. It's you. It's always you. Number 25, I just don't get along with other girls. I don't know why. They always know why. They just don't want to talk about it because they want to maintain their innocence. Number 26, I never wear makeup. Tint and moisturizer is still makeup, mama. But they want you to think that they're naturally flawless. Number 27, I don't have any expectations. Almost all women have expectations, expectations. but she wants you to think that she's open-minded. Number 28, I'm a very simple woman. Women by nature are not, not simple, simple creatures, but she doesn't want you to think that she's complicated because then that might scare you off. Number 30, I've only been with X amount of men. Almost always that number is going to be a lie because they don't want you to get turned off because now you think that they're easy. Put down in the description box how many of these you heard before. And until the next video, I'll see you.